It's Thursday, it's Thursday, it's finally Thursday again. Time to watch and review another one of your underwater films. Coming up. Hey there underwater filmmakers, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for still sticking around despite my very untalented singing introduction beforehand. I promise I will not be singing anymore in today's video but we'll be concentrating on the thing that we most love in this series here reviewing your underwater films. We will be watching and reviewing one of your underwater films. Today I have prepared a film that was submitted by Juhani Vaikunen and quite interestingly as a side note Juhani this is his second submission the first one was actually the very first film that we've reviewed here within this series uh, something like 25 episodes ago so uh, well thank you for initiating this series with that first film of you uh, Juhani and I'm very happy to watch another one of your submissions here and well Without any further ado, let's not waste any more time and jump right into his film and see what Yuhani has prepared for us today. Cool. Oh wow, look at that. It's quite a bit of a break there. Wow, yeah, it's quite flexible. Wow. Wow, Johanny, fantastic. Really, really enjoyed this piece of you. That was uh, 
that was really cool and I think it was a piece that you've recorded a few years ago um, I wonder if this was one of the pieces that you've submitted to a uh, to a content uh, and if you did I would be really um, curious to find out how it scored and how it went um, on the competition um, yeah so that was something completely different to uh, most of the entries and submissions that we get here in reviewing your underwater films it um, from personal experience, I know how difficult it is to work with uh, with models underwater. It's something very different to just recording, filming wildlife. Um, obviously, there is a lot more um, that you have to coordinate, that you have to talk about, that you have to stage, other than just going for a dive and filming whatever is down there and whatever pops in front of your camera lens. Um, I know... I noted down a few things that I'd like to um, to go through um, as we go through the video. Um, I did really like the choice of music that you've uh, that you've picked. Um, I did actually think that the first sequence um, of you filming the underwater, the marine life, in, if you want to put it that way, uh, that was nice and it gave like a nice intro into the environment, which is cool. I would have probably kept it a little bit shorter. I know, I say, say this oftentimes, and it's also something that is difficult to me when it comes to my own um, underwater footage, uh, cutting it down to a minimum, uh, but I do think it would not have really hurt the, um, the overall film if you had just shortened it by a little bit. Not much, but just by a little bit. Um, but other than that, I thought it felt, um, it felt or it fitted well to the music. The cuts were um, executed nicely. I also liked the, um, the overall consistency of the colors, um, the way it looked. It, it was nice. It was a nice piece to look at that first part. And then I was surprised to see an actor or an actress coming into uh, the frame, the free diver. Um, and that just really changed the movie a little bit there. First, it was all presenting herself, doing all these figures and stuff down there. And you've captured it nicely there with uh, a good variety of different angles. You were, um, you were tilting the camera oftentimes up to the surface to get plenty of natural light, which is important, especially filming in a, uh, in a darker environment. This was probably filmed in, in a lake in uh, Finland, I'm guessing. Um, and uh, it's, it's a good idea to do that, to get plenty of ambient light into the camera and onto your sensor. Um, so that was, that was good. Also, you had a variety of different angles which kept it interesting. Um, then, again, change of music. The actress uh, or the character noticed the diver, someone else being in the water there, uh, flat um, and stopped looked back and then disappeared into the distance. And I liked the last shot a lot where you could see the diver coming up to the exact same piece of wood that the branch that the uh, free diver, the girl was at before, holding on to it and looking out into the distance, kind of like looking after her as she was disappearing in, uh, in the water and in the, in the darkness. So powerful, I like it. Uh, a lot and there's really only one thing that I noticed that I would um, pass on to you as a tip which is when you were um, when we saw the sequence of the sunlight coming in through the water where you had just uh, nothing in the frame just the sunlight coming in and the very closed aperture um, I think that I saw some dirt spots on your dome that were just, you know, being very visible and reflecting from the sunlight hitting the dome and you having the aperture very closed. Um, so, as I said uh, many times before, guys, make sure that you do clean your domes and your lenses and everything from both sides properly before getting in the water so you can avoid any problems or any issues like this. Other than that, um, Yuhani, thank you very much for this submission and for sharing this great piece of underwater work uh, with us. I immensely enjoyed watching this and I hope that everyone else out there uh, was able to get something from it um, as well and maybe some inspiration for some future projects that some of you want to do, including some models and freedivers and all that sort of stuff. 
Um, hopefully, Johanny, I was still able to give you a bit of a feedback and uh, at least maybe that, that one tip with cleaning the, the dome port. Um, and I hope that everyone else was able to take something from this video. As well, as always, I will be linking this video as well as Johanny's channel down in the video description below um, so that you can go over there, uh, give him a like, give him or leave a subscription and just say hi from me so he knows where you're coming from. Um, if you have an underwater film that you would like me to review, you can do that by sending me a link to that film to contact at MatthiasLiebo.com and I'll be more than happy to watch every one of the entries that, uh, that I receive. Please do keep in mind though that in the past couple of weeks we have received quite a lot of submissions so the wait time uh, from the time when you submit your film to when it will be published here on the channel right now is about six to seven months. Just keep that in mind. If you're fine with that, feel free to submit your film and I will make sure to watch and review it um, as soon as I get the chance to do so. Thank you very much for watching, guys. It's always a pleasure reviewing these films for and with you. And uh, well, until next week, have a great time and I'll see you in the next video.